What the fuck is up? Nice to tweet you. My name's Enbird. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today, uh, I have some disappointing news. I have re-downloaded TikTok on my phone. There is a new ARG under the username PB here that has kind of blown up on TikTok and has moved to YouTube. Today, I'm joined by someone else who did some I Am Sophie coverage back when uh, that was booming. Mr. Wife, he's going to dive a little deeper into the first half of the PB narrative, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the second half. Hi there, my name is J Cam, and this is my part of Anbird's video about the PB here, ARG. Let's get started. PB is someone who's trapped in a padded cell with only a phone, a chair, a bed, and a door. Hello, this is uh, day whatever of me being trapped in this room. I um, don't know what I'm doing here, don't know why I'm here. This is what my room looks like if you're interested. He has no memory from outside of the cell and the only apps that his phone has is Solitaire, YouTube, and TikTok. This is a very interactive ARG, so when us, the viewers, comment on his videos, he often replies, he replies to tweets, and he gives us information about him. So I don't remember anything from like, I don't think there was it before. I, I, I kind of just feel like I've always been here. During one of his TikToks, a viewer caught a glimpse of the bottom side of the windowsill on his door, and on that there was sheet music, and the sheet music correlates to certain sounds that the keypad on the door makes, and using that, he was able to leave. Alright, um, let's see if this works. It, it worked. <laughs> However, he wasn't able to get far down the hallway before seeing an unconscious body in a hazmat suit and it had a note and an ID card. I just want to say, like, thank you for helping. <gasps> the note said, sorry for locking you in a padded cell, but I needed you to be ready for the other being. And it also said, I hope the extranet access I gave you helps with... Dot dot dot. That's not everything, but that's just the highlights, and something was clearly stopping the guy from finishing his note before he could get it to PB. Also, forgot to mention this, but the note says, stop by my office before you leave, so the person writing it definitely has intentions of PB making an escape. After continuing down the hallway, PB makes it to the atrium of the IBT facility, IBT being the company or organization that's holding him in this building. Hello, I'm back. Um, I've been camped in the security room, and I've been watching the cameras, and I haven't seen anyone. Uh, so this is, I guess, where we are. There's this big atrium here. Um, all the plants are fake. Those aren't windows, those are lights. Oh, and there's this big bunker door here that I think leads to the main laboratory so I can leave. But, um, I found this map, so tell me where to go next, and I'll go there. Before I start this next bit, I want to give a huge shout out to the Discord group, the PB here Discord group, because they supplied a lot of the facts that I'm about to mention right now. The only way PB knows his name is because it's written on his shirt and his clothing. Also, PB doesn't feel the need to eat, drink, or use the toilet. He's not really human, so he doesn't need to do that stuff. When using social media, he's limited to only his own posts and his comments. He can't see other people's posts or even profile pictures. However, to make up for that, his phone has infinite battery life, which is that's pretty epic. Now let's discuss some theories, because theories are fun, and is it really an ARG video if you don't go over theories? One theory is that external connections, emphasis on the external, is meant for aliens and people from other planets. There is one theory that you could sort of see the figure of a person in one of the lights. Another theory is that PB can breathe anywhere, which might explain why the guy going down the hallway, who might have been the one writing the note, couldn't finish the note because he ran out of air. And also that would definitely explain why he's in a hazmat suit. So I think PB breathing everywhere is a pretty good theory. However, I don't think we have enough proof to confirm it just yet. Another theory is that PB isn't an alien, he's an invention. And this could be explained by the person on the ID card, Henry Carter, being human. And he's also labeled as chief engineer. And I think engineers like build stuff. So maybe he built PB because there is a science lab in this facility. So last one I could find is that PB has no control over his YouTube channel, and this might be because IBT, the company or the organization, 
is running it for him and they want people to see PB's videos. The reason people think this is because on PB's YouTube channel with all of his TikToks re-uploaded, there's a playlist labeled for ease of viewing and it's just got all of his videos in chronological order. It also says next to it, service provided by IBT external connections department. So I think it is quite likely that the YouTube channel is being run not by PB, but by IBT. That's basically everything I can add. Thank you, Enbert, for having me on your channel. Thank you to all of you for watching Enbert, because he's a great guy. And also, there was one last really important thing I wanted to say before my second. All right, that's enough. Thank you. This is a very, very interactive ARG, and I think it's awesome because he kind of goes off of the comments of the users on TikTok. Hello, so I have a lot of, lot of things to catch up on. Here, I'm going to hit the cameras real quick, like someone asked. All right. <laughs> so... I've already checked all the wall panels and I couldn't find a secret door if there is one. And as PB ventures forth into the atrium, he comes across a floor plan and he's looking around and he winds up in one of the offices because the users told him to go there. Hello, I've been exploring the offices and I found out two things. One, uh, this is uh, external connections and they focus on, I guess, they just vaguely say connecting outwards. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, two, they're upset that they got the .NET domain instead of .com for their website. Uh, I'm at the door of Henry Carter here, so I'm going to open this and look inside. Huh? What is this? He sees a clone of himself inside one of the offices, which is a little odd. So it turns out PB is a science experiment slash clone slash creation, whatever you want to call it. And there appears to be a website linked with the ARG called InfraBioTech. You can see this in one of the letters or memos that he found on the desk and someone was complaining that it was InfraBioTech.net instead of .com. If you go to the website, it actually exists. There's four pages, home, about, news, and contact. Uh, and it just kind of says a little something about, you know, the company. They look to be a engineering R&D, some sort of technology biology facility. So feel free to explore the website at your leisure. Um, but the most important part to note is at the bottom, it says this website is part of the external outreach program. And there's a little button on the right that's barely visible. Uh, and it says restricted access for employees only. Uh, and if you pay attention to the videos, you will see the employee ID is on the key card that he finds in the beginning. Uh, and the employee password is a song lyric that gets filled in from a post-it note that he finds after he finds his clone. Hey everyone, um, so I've been looking at the tank and I can't really do anything with it. You guys are saying that it's my clone, so I kind of don't want to do anything with it now. Uh, I put my phone in this like holder here and it like linked to my phone and was like downloading stuff, maybe. Um, well, I searched the office um, and I found this post-it note. I saw you guys were mentioning there was a website, so maybe this will help you. Uh, and I'm going to check out some other areas, so I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you. If you log into the website, you get a little bit more information, a little a little more lore onto what PB is. Um, and so I'll just I'll, I'll read a little bit. Extranet connections are currently extremely limited as the filter needs to be adjusted. We have lost access to the external connections department, so upkeep on the servers have ceased. Temporal issues have been reported. The perfect being project is currently on hold. Private demonstration of subject is currently on hold. So PB is perfect being. And, you know, I, I think it's fitting that he looks like Saitama, little one-punch man, the strongest in the universe, and PB's gonna be the, the number one being. And so it's, it's confirmed that he is an experiment, uh, a project that these bio engineers are working on. And then we have uh, an interview with PB along on the website. Hello, how are you today? I'm doing good. I finished my tasks for the day and so I'm relaxing. Do you have a name that you prefer? Not yet. All of the others have decided on a name, but I'm still thinking about it. What is one of your favorite hobbies? I've been learning painting. I'm surprised at how well I'm picking it up. I've shown some of my work to other staff and they all seem very impressed with what I've been doing. How do you feel about being a result of the perfect being program? I'm proud to be a representative for IBT's groundbreaking biotechnology research. Without their research, this interview would have been impossible today, and I can't wait to see what Generation 5 will bring. So PB is Generation 4 of the Perfect Being Project, so I don't know if we're going to see Generation 5 because it seems like the lab is in chaos 
and uh, not functioning anymore along with some, some dead people. Um, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen. So then if you scroll down uh, further, there's a Generation 2 of the Perfect Being demonstration. Can you tell me what this color is? Uh, that's purple. I'm sorry, that's not right. Dang it, gosh dang it, I can't get it right! How about this one? Huh, that's green. Good job! That's green! That's green like me! Oh, yeah! And as you can see, they have made great, great progress since Generation 2. <laughs> And then at the bottom it says, notice on door code changes, please note that all facilities must change their door codes from the default code of 1760. Keeping the codes increases the chance of security issues. Part of me thinks that maybe if PB gets stuck at a door, it might be the default code. So that might be something to note, but I think that's it for now. I'm looking forward to keeping up with it. I think it's really cool. I mean, I haven't covered many ARGs, but I've looked at a few and this is the most interactive I've ever seen it. Uh, it seems to be happening in real time. So hats off to the animation team. They're doing a bang up job. I like how he's willing to kind of try everything or end anything and kind of animate what the people want to see. So hats off to PB and the rest of IBT uh, in infra, infra biotech and I uh, can't wait to see what they're going to do next. Special shout out again and thank you to Jcam for joining me on this video and doing a little bit of the technical aspects and theories. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike. Leave a comment, I read those. Subscribe if you want, but don't hit the bell button because notifications are annoying. Subscribe to Jcam, and as always, I'll catch you next time. Like, and, 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 and,